I'm the Edge Lord, Lord of the Edge. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Black Hole, an action adventure puzzle platformer by P Fiola Soft Studios, who has so graciously sent me a review copy, so there will be a text review in the description, and I hope you'll look for that as well. Press almost any key. I like almost. <laughs> we'll play on single player, that's fine. Ugh. Damn Mondays. Oriel, tell someone I need coffee. Crew, this is Jetson, the captain of the ship Endera. We've got work to do. You all know what your job is. Meet Captain Jetson. His crew, Elroy. Dayton, his bro. <laughs> Aw, suave Dayton. Let's make this clear now. When I tell you to make coffee, I assume you'll bring it at once. That is Whoa, your Whoa, Oriel. Or should I constantly remind you of your success in the testing Jesus. Laboratory? Like, immediately into bitch mode. She's like, oh, we're not talking to the captain anymore. You're just the swabby. I do really like the voice acting, though. Let's make some coffee, I suppose. Eight, run, RT1. run, run. Oh. Now I've spilled all the coffee. I just... Oh, we gotta walk down the stairs. Boopity, mother. I'm reserving my judgment until I see an actual puzzle, but this tutorial level is just fucking cruel. <laughs> it's good. Just put your hand over it. You got a fucking space glove on. Keeps you cold in outer space. It'll probably keep you. Okay. All right. Yeah. What do I do? Oh, all right. Elevator, good. Thank you. Exactly oh, you're so welcome. Three. Hey, you guys want to hear a joke? I heard this one on the radio. Two. So there's this guy. One. There's this guy, and he's dead. What's left of our ship? I wonder if my data core survived. Even though the situation suits me quite well, I would love to know what really happened. I just need to find some mechanical legs, and I will be like an android. You get it? Android! <laughs> oh, because you're a PDA fucking tablet. I get it. Left is the wrong way. I'm almost sure of it. Don't jump. Game Edge. <laughs> okay. I'm the Edge Lord, Lord of the Edge. Mysterious nanobots. My scanner shows only negative results. And a oh, few good. Positive. Which one do you want to hear first? Uh. Evidently, you don't care. I don't. You're just a woman talking in my ear. Like all the rest of them. Ah! Oh, what's this? A bouncy thing? Pokey poke. I'm still going to tell you though, these blue balls are alive. It is a local substance called sulfurnium. Do not ask me how I know. I have I like the myself. stuff in the foreground, Just but it seems like it's a little much. That can repair stuff. What a coincidence. Level completed. Goodbye. Jump on it. It just might tear you to pieces. The chance that you wouldn't kill yourself was really negligible. Mm. So negligible that if you put a bet on it, you'd be a millionaire. What a shame this isn't a lottery. So the white platforms are what kind of makes up the puzzle aspects of this game. And despite a lady talking in your ear the whole time, it's actually quite enjoyable. That was cool. That was cool. I'll see you later, suckles. Zoosh. I rather like the large overworld with the little intersecting stages. It offers a pretty cool aesthetic. I see that one over there was this locked, the but... Box. One of many. They will help me remember what really happened and why the black hole sucked us in. A black box? Oh, I see it up there. Too bad I'm doing a level. Come on, jump higher. Just Dude, you. 
We need to find a platform and come from the other side. You think that's funny, do you? I see they're playing the mind games already. Like level three, bro. And then, uh, how do I get that one over there? Quite mean of them. No wall jumps. No wall jumps. Hmm. Hmm. What about just falling onto this big platform? You could get the last cell burn back there this way. Let me show you. Okay. Oh, wow. You can die, not me. So, <laughs> why don't you try it? That's uh an interesting thought. <laughs> and I did die. Whee! Yeah, there we go. Now don't fall. It was worth it. L'Oreal! Cause y'all worth it. Goodbye! Strange. It's like a whimsical planet, but there's also disgusting like centipedes in the background. Hooray! Leap of faith! So we are safe, relatively. But the Andera crew don't have such a luxury. If they did survive, they are in danger. We can save them! You and me, bitchy computer. Who hates me for getting coffee for the captain? I don't understand. Okay. So I gotta go out here, grab this one. Boop. Smack that again. Draw. Oh, butt shit. Even if I get him, I can't get out. Alright. This is a super hardcore game. Level passed. You're a liar. You're a liar! Okay. Now I gotta go back down. What happens if I turn it this way? Let's uh, have a little look. A little look see. It actually might be better the other way. Except I can't get that one up there. Okay, so we'll do this. And I'll drop down here. Little jump. Little drop. Snag that. Alright. And now we go back over here. There's one more. Just have the feeling this one's gonna be a pain in the ass. Alright, so like that, I guess. Then we have to make sure not to hit the top. <laughs> That's fine. Gotta go back around. Slow going, but that's all right, because we will beat the level. Oh, 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 suck a motherfucker. Yeah. Goodbye. I, I, I just want to go. <laughs> I found a signal of some sort, a call for help. Listen. This is an emergency call for help from astronaut Selassie. Our ship has crashed. I'm exposed to radiation and stuck in a cave on an unknown land. If there's anyone listening to this, help! Stuck in the cave? He didn't help us very much, did he? Could have said he is at coordinates AB 346BQ09. That'd be so much better. What an amateur. He's, he's under a lot of stress right now, okay? You wouldn't understand that being a computer lady and all. <sighs> Let's go to the aqua park together. Stay together for the kids. So friends, this has been Black Hole by Fiola Soft Studios. Um, it, it's a pretty above average game if you enjoy puzzle platforming. 
It's got a really unique mechanic and a pretty cool yet creepy aesthetic, which for an alien world fits in perfectly. So I will give this game a 70 out of 100. Uh, for the controls, I gave it a 7 out of 10 because they are sort of sticky. Uh, hanging on the ledges isn't as done as well as I'd hoped as is uh, like sliding down the walls. It would be cool to be able to like kick off the walls a little bit maybe. But not bad overall. Pretty good controls. The fun factor I gave a 6 out of 10 just because uh, some parts are just so frustratingly difficult that it takes away some of the fun for me. But that does leave the difficulty with a solid 10 out of 10. So there is that. The replayability I gave a 3 out of 10 simply because uh, the difficulty is about the only reason that I could see to replay it. The levels aren't randomly generated, I don't... I haven't taken note of any power-ups or anything like that, so... I could be wrong, uh, I'll give it a 3 just for the level of difficulty that is offered, because it might be something that you want to experience again if you're looking to brush up on your uh, puzzle platforming, and this is a, a good one for that. So. The innovation, I gave a 9 out of 10. Couldn't be perfect. I've seen similar things before, but I think the implementation here is definitely worth a 9. It's it's really solid and really fun. For the aesthetic, I gave the graphics a 6 out of 10. It It's passable. It's not super blow-your-mind great, but it definitely gets across what everything is supposed to be. The music, I gave an 8 out of 10 because it's rather otherworldly and I think spits, fits in with the space aesthetic pretty well. For the sound effects, I did decide to give it a 9 out of 10, simply because I think the voice acting is marvelous. Um, we've got the story. So far, I think the story is good, although it seems a bit generic to me, you know, Crash on a Spaceship, but it's... It's okay, you know, it, it serves its purpose, it keeps the, the game moving along. So 6 out of 10 for the story, and then level design, I also decided to go with 6 out of 10. Just because I think uh, some of the levels are cruel, and while it is advertised as a hardcore platformer, I think it should be more of a hardcore puzzler, because I'm a hardcore platformer, but this, this thing still had me racking my brain, and I was only able to get through like 8 levels in an hour. So oh, that's levels out to a very respectable 7. Not a high 7, mind you, but a 7. I greatly enjoyed the game, and I thank Fiola Soft so much for the review copy once again. I hope my subscribers will go and check it out for themselves if they like the look of what's offered here. And, but be warned that uh, it, will, it will cause some rage. <laughs> you can trust me on that one. So, this has been Black Hole. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I hope you will join me for the next time, friends. Until then, bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.